Christopher Norris here from mining.com.au. Joining me today is Managing Director of ABX Group, Dr. Mark Cooksey. Mark, great to see you again. Likewise, Chris, good to be here. Mark, fluorine has been added to Australia's critical minerals list. What does this mean for alcohol? Yeah, we think it's quite significant. Um, Australia's critical minerals list is a list of minerals that Australia has geological potential um, and other countries say it's critical to them and their supply chain issues, which clearly is for fluorine because currently Australia doesn't produce any. Um, Alcor developing a world leading process to produce fluorine from a waste. So we think it's pretty exciting that the Australian government has recognised its potential. And to what extent does this addition validate the importance of the pilot plant and the work by the company to advance this into a commercial scale operation? Well, it certainly validates the overall strategy of the business. And I guess a pilot plant is part of the scale up process. Um, what, what it does is say, yes, it is worth putting this effort in, right? There's a big prize up, out there, which is to be able to produce fluorine, which we can use in Australia, replacing imports, and uh, this thorough, rigorous process we're doing uh, is, is a good way to do it. Mark, can you give us an indication of the timeline you expect for Alcor to be producing a steady supply of fluorine? Well, so what we're doing right now, we're, we're starting our pilot plant program. So we have a, we call a batch reactor operating at pilot scale. It's been operating for the last couple of months. The next step is a continuous pilot plant, which as it says will operate continuously at that, at that pilot scale. We have a design for that. Um, we're ready to build it. We're actually just in some discussions with potential uh, investors, which could affect the location of that pilot plant. That's really a year long program to uh, build it, commission it and run it. But by the end of 2024, we'd be able to say, yes, this pilot plant works well enough that we can now commit to building a commercial plant. And that really is effectively another 12 month process to build a commercial plant. So we're looking at a couple of years to be able to then produce uh, fluorine. And Mark, Corporate Connect issued an update to ABX Group's company review yesterday. Can you give us a bit of an overview? Yeah, so Cobra Connect have been very thorough. Um, as they said, when they did their original report on us, uh, we're effectively three businesses. We've got the, the Alcor, aluminium fluoride, we just talked about. We've got the rare earth and we've got the bauxite. And what their review is based on is the increase in the resource size of the rare earth deposit or the rare earth resource. Uh, we've been increasing it through the year. It's now at 52 million tonnes. And based on that, Corporate Connect increase the valuation of the rare earth component of ABX from eight cents a share to 21 cents a share. Um, and that takes the total to 46 cents a share, which looks pretty good compared to the current market price of less than 10 cents a share. And looking back, 2023 has been a year of highlights for ABX. What's been your biggest achievement? Yeah, well, there's been, there's been more than one. So I think on the Alcor side, uh, when I look back a year ago, we decided, yes, we need to move to the pilot plant stage. And what we've done this year is design, order, and deliver, commission a pilot scale reactor that's now running and the results look good as we just announced a week or so ago. Also in parallel, done a whole lot of design of a continuous pilot plant, which is pretty hard with a, the small team that we have. And on the rare earths, a year ago, we had a tiny resource of 4 million tonnes and some positive metallurgical results and some discussions with potential customers that were at the very um, nascent stage. Now we've got a 50 million tonne resource, uh, widespread results showing good metallurgy for our resource and a lot of engagement with potential customers in the rarest value chain that I think certainly convince us that we're on a good path. You know, we've got a highly prospective project. And moving into 2024, where would you like to be in six months' time? Six months, um, we want the the absolute ironclad results from our batch reactor for the Alcor to be uh, very positive. I'd want to have um, just about stunning commissioning of the continuous pilot plant. And on the rare earths, we want to see uh, well uh, both a larger resource and a and a and a section of higher grade. That's a, that's a priority for us. And we know I'd, I'd hope that we 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 will have been able to talk to the market by then about some engagement with strategic investors. That's certainly something we've um, tried very hard on both Alcor and Rare Earths. Um, 
it's always a long process, but we're thinking we're having good traction. So it'd be great to have some real significant support for our projects. That was Dr. Mark Cooksey, Managing Director of ABX Group. Mark, happy holidays. Great. You too, Chris. Thanks for 2023.